Finding the Voices talk show by Monica Ingunam. I'm a huge fan of Finding the Voices. You're doing a great job for Manipur. Manipur bu prithi vida masatak pa. Good positive uh, voices and you know make those voices more visible. Yeah. Wanted our voice to reach in all the corners of the world. Finding the Interesting voices. people. In finding the uh, finding voices on people the from our own place. Share positive stories and inspiring stories and bring out the good stories of Manipur. Finding the voices. with your strategy like for example you showed me the bed sheet yes uh, like one of the handloom manipur handloom product bed sheet would be more than 3000 yes but you have um, if i let you explain yes. so if you can explain the strategy for that see, design for the bed sheet because i thought that was really great and affordable one thing is see whenever whenever we manufacture something as a manufacturer uh, this is a message to all my friends and if all my other friends has better idea they can share with me mm -hmm. uh one of the targets should be uh, whatever product you produce going to manufacture should be in a price where uh, a very normal ordinary person can, can effort mm -hmm. like Uh, I I also make lot of t-shirt design, very good design. We know how to make sweaters, very good design, like Monte Carlo and Venus and Dust, mm. uh, like any other big brand does. But mm -hmm. the problem is in Manipur, uh, maximum maximum of our populations mm -hmm. can't afford much, mm. can't afford much because there are only twenty uh, percent or fifteen percent of our population who can afford very good price. Mm -hmm. So we we have to stick to a level where uh, ordinary person can also buy. Mm. Like uh, when we meet first time, or uh, our principal policy of Manipur creation is, whatever product we are going to manufacture should be uh, in that price mm -hmm. that even a reasonable seller should be able to afford. When when she uh, she does today uh, today's business in the market, when she comes back from the market, whatever money she has. Uh, with her, mm -hmm. uh, that that money, uh, with that money, she should be happy mm. that when she want to buy our product, mm -hmm. if that product uh, price is much more or little bit more than what she can afford, no need to manufacture. Mm -hmm. So coming into this uh, policy, we have come into a small small product like nine uh, ninety rupees banyan. Mm -hmm. Then one one hundred and fifty rupees T-shirt, mm -hmm. then sweater at five hundred rupees. We come come into this range, and all the T-shirt uh, to sweater level, our maximum price is five fifty. Mm -hmm. We don't sell anything more than five fifty. Mm -hmm. And when we are talking about bed sheet, it's a bit complicated. Mm -hmm. Bit complicated in the sense when I when I do my research, uh, I want to reduce the price of the bed sheet, which cost three thousand five hundred rupees. Mm -hmm. So I was. Uh, going through all the manufacturing activities and how do they do weaving, where the price comes from, then so th then at last what I have decided is one bed sheet with a very good uh, handwork. If it costs three thousand six hundred rupees, we make that into four parts. Mm -hmm. We cut that into four parts. Where which is very costly part, mm -hmm. and that being the, the center, the, design uh, the one with the design in the center, with the, with the center, and which is very costly. Mm -hmm. If that uh, on that one, if I we cut into four part, and if we use only one part of that in the center, and the border is done with the cheaper, mm -hmm. uh, much cheaper compared to that bed sheet, mm -hmm. then the price come down to thousand six hundred to thousand eight hundred. That means. Uh, 
regular people, ordinary people can who can it. afford 3,600 mm -hmm. at least can give a try mm -hmm. to buy that one. Mm -hmm. it no, was I a, really love this. It was a very good success. In my personal experience also when I buy, sometimes I find our local products very expensive. Like even like a fee yes. would cost like 8,000 rupees. And if you want different colors, it becomes very, very high difficult. Product. Very so difficult. I, I was very impressed when you showed me Not some only of the this, products Not only this, afford. because see, when we talk about bed seed, uh, in, in the market of mm -hmm. bed seed, when we talk about out of, inf out of Manipur, people will not buy will not understand our handwork mm. will not understand how it works mm -hmm. and uh, how much time it takes mm -hmm. so how you will market that bed seat outside mm -hmm. out of Imphal, out of manipur it's it not possible mm -hmm. not possible because in tamil nadu people will understand how it was made mm. because here we know Mm -hmm. that this is done by hand and it takes time mm -hmm. okay we pay 3600 yeah it means the handiwork by itself uh, i guess the price is okay uh, it's yeah. worth that much, but it's unaffordable for the people. Unaffordable, and but you are trying to imbibe both, yes. wherein you know the handicrafts um, and the art skill, craft skills of Manipur is being presented, but also affordable to the common people. Yes, it is. See, uh, people when you when the people don't understand how the how the garment is made or the, how the bedsheet is made. Uh, they see only beauty and they will compare to another beautiful product. Mm. So another beautiful product which is available and made uh, manufactured in Tamil Nadu or mm. in Delhi. So there will be much cheaper because they don't do handwork. They do much in the machine, maximum of their work in the machine. Mm -hmm. So a basic which is almost uh, beautiful, beautiful like what we produce and what they produce. Mm -hmm. If their price is 2,500 and our price is 4,600, nobody will buy our product. Mm -hmm. That is one of the reasons why, why one of our, most of our product, mm -hmm. which is so beautiful, uh, is not going through in the market. Mm -hmm. And now my bed seat, uh, you'll not believe, uh, around 250 bed seat mm -hmm. uh, goes every week from here to Tamil Nadu. Mm -hmm. uh, we are selling at a very good price. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think that's a wonderful it, concept. It is all because of... Because you are exporting, um, I guess, the work of handicraft work of Manipur, but at the same time making the price very competitive. Yes, that, no, that is exactly what we need to do. Mm -hmm. And one more thing... So you, from your analysis, you feel that our products, um, our handicrafts, handloom products, though it is very intricate and very nice, it's not very popular in the rest of... Uh, India or other places because, because it's not price it is competitive. Not, not only uh, one one and main also reason. The exposure, I yes, guess, yes. On how one main made. reason is our price is uh, not at all acceptable once we move out of uh, Manipur. Mm. Our price is so high and uh, compared to the items available there, it is uncomparable. Mm -hmm. One second second reason which I am going to come in now is also a very important factor, uh, like. Almost all our traditionally loom products are very, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful that anybody, uh, any of my friends, uh, or maybe your friend also, mm -hmm. or anybody out of Imphal, if they uh, look into our uh, fanek, mm -hmm. or if they look, look into our fee, uh, this uh, inner fee which you are wearing now, mm -hmm. uh, they, it looks so wonderful mm -hmm. that they will all uh, compliment the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, they will not uh, think of buying one. Mm -hmm. Why? Because uh, they cannot wear. Mm -hmm. uh, they cannot wear. Mm -hmm. Those be uh, even though it is so beautiful, mm -hmm. uh, they can't wear. Because it is different. It is, di it is different, w uh, different way of wearing. And uh, let's say, the way how you are coming now, mm -hmm. uh, you will feel a bit odd if you have to go for a wedding in uh, any part of India. If you, if, since we, we love our tradition, we are wearing and going. Mm -hmm. If somebody else in your place, mm -hmm. she will never wear. Mm -hmm. Means what you are trying to say is uh, you... The, the, way, uh, the way, it is not the common way of dressing. Mm -hmm. Common way of dressing like, see, if this uh, fee which you are wearing, mm -hmm. if this can become converted to a garment which they are wearing, mm -hmm. Let's say you, you, you are saying that you want to repurpose our garments into 
uh, repurpose our raw material and work to fit into other people's dressing. A mainstream, dressing. mainstream, mainstream de uh, design dressing. Mm -hmm. Like, see, uh, the one plain fanek, mm -hmm. plain fanek with the, our regular uh, uh, ladies, anybody, any females wear that fanek. Uh, with that fanek, I made into uh, garment like even this. Mm -hmm. This this is done from fanek only. Mm -hmm. uh, the fanek cost only two twenty, and we made this garment. Mm -hmm. That fanek you can't sell out of him out of Manipur. Mm -hmm. But if you uh, repurpose that manufacture uh, if you re design it into mm. a garment which a mainstream other, other population use then our our, our product goes out mm -hmm. and people will know oh this is that manipuri mm. uh, manipuri product mm -hmm. like means uh, what what i'm understanding is you're trying to expand the products so that it's not only within manipur but outside people out of manipur can also accept it uh, but you have to come up with designs wherein it will fit into their society and their dressing style. Until and unless, until and unless our product is changed into a, a, a product which people accept mm -hmm. in a bigger market, mm -hmm. uh, what will we do? Manufacturing the same cloth, mm -hmm. every family, mm -hmm. in each and every family. Mm -hmm. See, one family also used to make fee, another family also used to make, and every, it, every one of us know, uh, knows that we, we, we know all the prices. Mm -hmm. uh, what business we are going to do each other? Mm -hmm. uh, it's not going so to you happen. So you're making that fanek or fee as the raw material and making into garments or designs? That is the main thing which we need to push in. Mm -hmm. that, that is the main thing. See, first thing, we have to see that our price come down compared to the market. Second mm -hmm. thing is whatever uh, traditionally inherited items, mm -hmm. whatever we have, we need to it has to be transformed into a garment where it fit into the regular, uh, right. uh, re regular garment industry, mm -hmm. and in the in when in this process, mm -hmm. uh, the requirement of this raw material will grow in such uh, that. Then the people, the people local people, also will grow with will, the will grow. So, for example, my ethnic attire has a place to wear, but I may not necessarily wear it for my normal workplace. Yes. So if our ethnic uh, raw material is used into garments like here, the beautiful jacket which I can wear in my office, then it would be repurposed. But it is a production of Manipur and hence, uh, you know, it can be and fit in any other society. And see, uh, we can even, uh, we are planning we are planning that see if this design is uh, is re restructured into a garment mm -hmm. in that garment we are planning to have a hang tag mm -hmm. where we will have a story a short story with mm -hmm. seven or eight line mm -hmm. that this garment is made from that uh, this product mm. uh, which is originated in Manipur mm. and which used which was used for this this purpose mm -hmm. so that the people who are going to use that garment will at least know from where it's uh, originate, it's originate. Mm. and this this will uh, expand our uh, tradi traditionally inherited uh, wealth mm -hmm. this is right, the only and way also grow the raw material which we get over here in manipur and the economy of the local weaver um, very much mm -hmm. very much so now that brings a very interesting question i have seen some very interesting comment and feedback from people who are protesting that some of our ethnic wear when it is being redesigned or repurposed into other garments um, that they feel that our ethnic or olden um, designs are mm. being compromised so what do you have to say See, uh, when you are restructuring you have to have some sense that it should not hurt the sentiment of the people. Mm -hmm. uh, you have, when you are restructuring with our fabric, you have to make a garment which, uh, which does not affect our, our people's sentiment in the sense that we have to make a proper garments. Mm. But all these problems uh, starts coming out uh, when some of the people makes the garment which is not suitable for example uh, some garment which is meant only for the men's mm -hmm. uh, with that fabric if they make a mm -hmm. ladies top mm -hmm. then people will not accept 
Okay, so uh, so from it is only because. See, so you have to be aware of you know the kind of fabric, what it is used for, for what it is being worn, and then design it accordingly. Yes, see, any product, according to me, according to maybe people may oppose it, but according to me, in the long run, uh, should be okay. When we have a product, when you are going to use it in the proper way. Uh, so that we doesn't uh, it doesn't harm the sentiment of our community. Uh, when your product going is going to carry the history of that fabric, mm -hmm. according to me, it's, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Because when we have a tag that it will it will give a story of how, how this fabric originated, from where it originated, and uh, how we are so proud of mm -hmm. that fabric. Mm -hmm. When that carries with that garment, mm -hmm. and when uh, you are using in a, in a, in a way when we are not uh, touching the sentiment of the community, I don't see much problem. Till today, I don't have problems. Mm -hmm. But and you do at the back of your mind when you design garments. Yes, yes, you definitely. You think about like the sentiments of the see, people and how it needs to be used. Main thing is I am also Manipuri. Mm -hmm. I am a Maithi. Uh, whenever. I do something first. I'm a Manipuri. Mm -hmm. First, I have to see that it doesn't hurt me. Mm -hmm. What what the work what I am doing should not hurt me. Mm -hmm. Even though uh, it's for business or it's for industry, first thing is it should not hurt me. Mm. When it is not uh, when I love my state so much, and when I love my 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 brother and sisters, my people so much, I will not harm them. Mm -hmm. So uh, as long as it the, my work doesn't hurt me. Uh, hurt me it will not hurt anybody's sentiment mm -hmm. because I am also one of the Manipuri mm -hmm. who is working for Manipur. Mm -hmm. uh, so what has been your response so far of the garments made from the raw material you get here? I have Manipur? got I have got a very very big orders mm. uh, mainly from the metros we uh, I even discussed this matter with the government of Manipur mm. that uh, I need to open another ten industry l like what I am having at the moment mm -hmm. until and unless we have ten we will not be able able to uh, provide the provide provide the quantities can, uh, provide the their demands uh, we I also book another five clusters cluster is uh, a, I, I don't know whether you are aware mm -hmm. about clusters this loom product hand looms. Mm -hmm. Hen looms are uh, in a village, no? Mm -hmm. Where they form into a group mm -hmm. with ten or fifteen looms, mm -hmm. or maybe sometimes twenty, twenty-five looms, mm -hmm. and form a cluster. Mm -hmm. Five of the clusters are working for my production. Mm -hmm. uh, this five is not going to be enough mm -hmm. for this season. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to increase for that. I, I, I the talk is on mm -hmm. with even for with the government. Mm -hmm. Most probably, most of the people. At least fifty percent of these uh, loom weavers will be producing our mm. our raw material. Raw material mm -hmm. in yeah, no, uh, this is really great because it's giving a lot of employment to the local people. It's not only the people who you are employing here under this roof, but also the extended people who are providing the raw material. Monica, I'm finding the voices. voices. Because we need such story for people to have faith in the government and the system that yes, it's working. Let's bring peace in our home state, Manipur. We have got uh, the job without bribery. Mm -hmm. They'll do justice to their job and they will help raise the standard of Manipur. Uh, 
See, you will not believe uh, one regular fanek, regular fanek which people use mm -hmm. for uh, daily household, um, mm -hmm. the, casual, the, the casual domestic one, that cost 220. Mm -hmm. 220 uh, rupees. 220 rupees. So, where, uh, where uh, the from the place where they are making mm -hmm. directly, mm -hmm. from there if by buy it is only 200, uh, 210 rupees. Okay. The difference is only 10 rupees mm. with the market so and the this. Profit margin is very less. Profit margin is very less. And what's the point selling that that fanek everywhere? Mm. See, you 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 manufacture only. Uh, bit more than what we re re require in the market mm -hmm. and the balance panic still we can use for all garment mm. most of my product my summer product most of my pro summer product at least 40 percent of my summer product which is going to launch now mm -hmm. on 5th of march mm -hmm. is all manufactured from the loom product mm. and which we normally use as a fanic mm -hmm. that i make into a roll mm -hmm. and from roll we make into a garment mm -hmm. and just we put in a trial basis for three days past three days mm -hmm. it is going so successfully well mm. in the market i'm so happy mm. that in the near future maybe another three or four months mm -hmm. i'll be able to uh, make them so busy mm. that don't they don't need to work for <laughs> 10 rupees profit okay uh, maybe i will be able to pay them at least 50 rupees more than what they were earning before mm -hmm. that's really great uh, no it's going to happen mm -hmm. this so just to summarize uh, manipur creations first of all i'm so proud that we have under one roof from thread to the final product it's being made so i am so proud of that um, that we don't need to import it from other places. Maybe we will manufacture yarn also. Yes, <laughs> I'm yeah. looking forward to that. <laughs> and then we are, um, you are giving employment to a number of people and particularly in a place like Manipur where, you know, there are a lot of unemployment. Um, I think this is a great initiative. Then thirdly, the raw material of Manipur are being repurposed, redesigned, utilized into garments, not only for the people of Manipur, but outside of Manipur, uh, it could be utilized by anybody all over the world. So giving the visibility of products of Manipur too. This is only a model. Mm -hmm. Manipur creation is only a model, a sample piece for the public of Manipur. Uh, I invite lot of other youngsters, uh, lot of other youngsters, whoever uh, is interested to mm -hmm. come into this line. Mm -hmm. We need a lot more like Manipur Creations. Manipur Creations as a single unit mm -hmm. will not be able to fight this market. Right, but it's a start and it's, a, know, it's, it's a very it's great it example. They have to come up. It. They have to come up. They should learn. Uh, our door is always open. Anybody, anybody who wants to come and see the factory is open to them. Mm -hmm. They should come up with a better idea. They should at least copy this and we should multiply this in our land of Manipur. Mm -hmm. And if we have another 10, 15 of these factory, maybe in another one or two years, we will not have any issue in Imphal. This is what I feel. Mm -hmm. And very, very, in a very short term, my 25,000 square feet factory, which is in Fumlau, mm -hmm. also will be ready. Mm -hmm. Once that is over, so uh, the production will be more. And production be will be much more, and uh, minimum of six hundred people mm, will, be uh, will be directly employed by mm -hmm. Manipur Creations. Mm -hmm. This is what I am praying now. Mm -hmm. uh, no, till today, that, we don't that, have problem. And mm. one more point which I uh, want to mention is, I like the, your concept and strategy about the pricing. The concept that you are having your own production but at a price which is affordable um, to the common people of Manipur. Yes, yes. So, and also the imbibing of different raw materials wherein you are keeping intact the handloom uh, essence um, but bringing down the price so that you know everybody mm. from uh, 
from anywhere can uh, afford it. Exactly. So thank you so much. No, one more thing. Mm -hmm. uh, one more thing here. Uh, in a place where uh, we have a separate market, even for a second hand items, mm -hmm. second hand, uh, for even for a second hand item, we have a particular day in a particular market. Mm -hmm. Why we don't have a market for a product, for all the product manufactured in, in Manipur? Manipur. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really don't understand this. Mm -hmm. And I don't know to whom I have to, uh, uh, to, to ask this, to whom. So we, uh, where, where I should start moving this project. Uh, now, at the moment, I am trying my best, mm -hmm. my, my, my real best, mm -hmm. to gather all the uh, people who manufactured mm. uh, products, products here in Manipur, in Manipur and we sell uh, together. together. Like have a common market. Common market like we once have a, a week or, uh, or a fixed location fixed so that locations. even the people will know that, oh, okay, if we have to yes, buy things. We should have one. We should have one quite soon because if we have a market, separate market for all the product manufacturer in Manipur, even our ngari, soy boom, mm -hmm. everything, including all this, mm -hmm. uh, even our t-shirt or handloom product, mm -hmm. then it will be quite easy mm -hmm. for the people to know that this, from here we have to buy. Mm -hmm. and because right now what I understood is um, you have everything in place, but... Uh, there are a lot of people in Manipur who don't even know about this Manipur the creation. So you need, we need to know amongst ourselves what are we producing and then support each other, Manip support for, the local products. For Manipur creations, somehow uh, we have got a lot of energetic people. Uh, we are pushing into every, each and every locality. Mm -hmm. uh, each and every lo locality, even Sunday we don't take rest. Mm -hmm. We are moving into small, and each and every locality so that our product uh, is known to the people but mm -hmm. uh, in Manipur when I want to start business why my parents were forcing me or stopping me is mm -hmm. it doesn't last mm -hmm. and one of the reason why our business doesn't last here is uh, we are not not known to the people mm -hmm. our product is not known to the people mm -hmm. people don't use but how people will use when they know that the product is available here mm -hmm. so for Manipur creation, somehow we survive. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of other mm -hmm. small, small groups, a lot of small, small groups before they, they at least comes out to the market, before coming out itself, mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they are forced to mm -hmm. close down because the market is... They are not able to survive they're not able, able because to they survive. put all their energy and investment into the production. But when the production time comes, uh, the market is not there because nobody knows about that product. That's it. Because now, Manipur Creation and me, my main target for 2015 is... 2016. 2016, sorry. 2016. 15 was to bring the factory here. Mm -hmm. And 2016 is we should have a market where only uh, the product which is manufactured only in Manipur mm -hmm. should be allowed to sell in. Mm -hmm. And that uh, complex mm -hmm. should have a, its own quality controller team where... Uh, whatever product which mm -hmm. uh, they want to sell in this complex, uh, quality should be controlled so that we don't have problem. We, we have a complaints of the quality, whatever product, mm -hmm. so that our market is kept intact. Mm -hmm. And third is we should have a price control team where uh, we can the team supposed to control mm -hmm. uh, what is the correct pricing to be uh, made for that particular product. Mm -hmm. Whatever man product mani manufactured in Manipur uh, can be kept alive mm -hmm. only when we have a market. Mm -hmm. Second is when we control the quality mm -hmm. and third is when we control the price. Mm -hmm. If you control these three, your product is mm -hmm. done. So the most important thing is we need the market pricing and, and quality. And quality. If you control these three, anything you manufacture here in Imphal mm -hmm. will always grow. Mm -hmm. No, and I believe that it'll happen. And uh, with your initiative and your strategy, it a should. lot of people it should. will get together. At the moment now, uh, Mukta Sus mm -hmm. is coming up uh, with uh, Manipur Creations. Mm -hmm. We are selling together. Mm -hmm. uh, another one more handicraft group is almost joining mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, uh, Kaksing uh, Honorable MLA's initiative, mm -hmm. we are planning to open uh, Sunday market mm. at Kaksing. Mm -hmm. 
very 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 well very well p- p- positive mm. uh, structuring really nice. is going on right. i am working very hard on mm-hmm. this line mm-hmm. because my uh, product uh, manufacturing is a separate thing my factory setup is a separate thing now the at the moment i am separate. i am working uh, working for a market yeah, uh, the market a permanent outreach. market yes mm-hmm. but even in coaching mm-hmm. no, even luck, even coaching i look forward and we are working very very closely with whomever interested mm. we jo- we are joining hands it's coming out coming okay. out it will come out good good so is there any um, other thing you want to mention or any message for our listener i want to request all the parents that let your uh, uh, let the children let the children go as per their dreams mm. Uh, we should understand their talent instead of the going in and uh, keep on screwing them that they have to get a very good mark uh, we have to see that what talent they have in themselves mm-hmm. we have to give them the best opportunities where we can see what talent they they have and we should allow them to get into choose their uh, destiny to choose their destiny one second is to all the youngsters of Manipur uh, my request is whomever is the best child of the family uh, we should at least sacrifice for this country by coming into entrepreneurship mm. because entrepreneurship is supposed to be taken by the best child of the family mm-hmm. uh, when the best child comes up uh, when the best student or the best individual comes into this line I am 100% sure people will not be crying for job in the government office. Mm-hmm. We'll have enough. And ma- it is already ma- changing. It is changing. It yes. is changing. This is what this is this should be the this main This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Mm-hmm. We are in. Mm-hmm. We are in now. Uh, our generation of entrepreneurs is a bit different from uh, supposed to be should be different. Mm-hmm. And we should make it different by doing different things uh, in this uh, lane. Let's see this is the only advice or only request to all the youngsters that the best people should please at least please take up the entrepreneurship mm-hmm. we can solve the problems of this state okay thank you for sharing that okay so coming to the last segment i don't know how much you know about finding the voices but wanted to get a sense of what you think about finding the voices how we can improve what do you look forward in our show see one of the reason one of the reason why manipur creations has come back mm-hmm. uh, one of the reason uh, how the youngsters start thinking more about the state uh, more about the individual of the state is only because uh, because of this kind of social uh, media changes like coming up of finding the voices like at so many other mm-hmm. other group but one uh, one among all those the best one among all those is finding the voice and finding the voice normally inspires me a lot uh, like see i will not feel like coming back here if i d- i didn't know that our place is like this mm. we we have gone long time back i mm-hmm. have i left uh, imphal at 1990 93 mm-hmm. since then i am all uh, i usually usually come for only two days or three days i mm-hmm. never come for a month even mm-hmm. this holy is going to be my first holy after 1993 mm. so in the lane like that how do i know that the lane is changing mm. when we are staying that far away for long time like this how do i know that the uh, my 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 native where i was born mm-hmm. that lane is changing mm-hmm. we knew only because of the things like finding the voice hearing It's the story of all he- the people he- hearing the yeah. story of all the people and keep on updating us that uh, there are a lot of other greats mm-hmm. uh, who are so courageous mm-hmm. to take up a very very hard task mm-hmm. when i was shifting my factory you will not believe uh, in apart from my wife mm-hmm. apart from my wife i don't have a single person who agrees with me mm-hmm. that i have to shift mm-hmm. but in manipur in in, in manipur mm-hmm. and why i shift is only because of all those inspiring story mm-hmm. which i read 
mm. which Thank I have you. seen <laughs> when finding the boys. And one among them is another one more, mm -hmm. uh, one more group. Mm -hmm. But so encouraging mm -hmm. that this, this should always, uh, this should continue forever. Mm. This finding the voice, your campaign should always uh, goes and see. So it's quite in, uh, impressive that you are doing of your own and uh, you are trying your best. I don't know how you manage it. <laughs> uh, we, in my, if, if I am in your place, I will not be able to, even though you say you started Manipur creation, you shifted this. No, I will not be able to uh, at least uh, perform like what you do even. No, no, no. It's yeah. quite <laughs> impressive. You continue. I pray that you all, you still continue for more time. You, uh, the more story you bring up, the more encouragement will go to the people. Let's pray that you continue forever. Mm, thank you. Thank you so much. It's people like you who shares your story from your heart, which is making uh, the connection with our listener. And I, I truly believe that our voice especially the voice of people of Manipur, because we grew up in a very, very different environment. And I think in each story, we can see how a person has gone through all the challenges, despite the circumstance, have come out. But unfortunately, the media and other, um, the media has not picked up such stories and has focused mainly on the conflict. So it's my very small contribution and effort to highlight that, yes, we have people, yes. we have positive exactly stories. Exactly, you're right. And um, want to create a very uh, different view about Manipur. So thank you so much. And thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please join at Finding the Voices.